The race for Minnesota's 8th congressional seat is turning out to be one of the most expensive in the country. Not only are the candidates spending millions of their own campaign dollars, but millions more from outside groups are pouring in. Ten and a half million dollars to be exact. On top of that, Representative Rick Nolan and challenger Stuart Mills have spent more than five million on their own. Esme Murphy joins us right now. So do we not know why so much money is being poured into this district? Well, Amelia and Frank, there are a number of reasons. One reason, though, is that this race, according to both sides, is very, very close. And while there are only about 25 or so congressional districts in the country that have the potential to flip from one party to the other, this is one of the very few that has gone back and forth. Stuart Mills wants bad foreign trade deals that help millionaires like him and hurt working people. It's the latest ad buy in an avalanche. Rick Nolan is lying to us about Stuart Mills. One reason for the onslaught, the volatility of the district, which has seen it flip from Democrat to Republican back to Democrat in the last six years. And in 2014, it was very close. Representative Rick Nolan beat Stuart Mills by less than 4,000 votes. There's probably only about four or five seats at most that have actually flipped back and forth in the way that we have seen the 8th District. So this may be one of the most competitive seats in the country. With both parties fighting for control of Congress, a win in the 8th is key for both sides. Another factor, the sprawling district includes the TV markets of both Duluth and the Twin Cities, meaning the campaigns and outside groups need to buy ads in both markets. And then there is the Trump factor. Make America great again. Trump leads Hillary Clinton amongst white, non-college educated men by a stunning 76 percent to 17 percent, a demographic that could help not only Trump in the eighth, but Stuart Mills. That's a profile of a good chunk of the voters up, up in the Iron Range. Bottom line, Donald Trump is expected to do very well in the 8th Congressional District, so much so that it's possible there could even be a coattail effect that could help Stuart Mills. The Democrats are definitely not surrendering. Sources tell us that Vice President Joe Biden will be in Duluth Friday to campaign for Rick Nolan and Hillary Clinton. Wow. Uh, how about experts? Do they have any idea how much total spending there will be in these campaigns? Well, we're already at $15 million, Amelia. Uh, experts think this could go up to $20 million uh, in if you break that down by the number of people who voted last time, that's about 70, upwards of $70 a vote. Oh, wow. All right. Thank you, Esme.